Hey there, and welcome back to another episode here on my Derail Valley Overhauled live stream series. If you want to uh, catch up on other episodes, there is a playlist on my channel, which I will link here in the replay once this is live. And uh, we are dropping back in here at the harbor today. And uh, going to be taking a look at what we can haul and probably taking a southwesterly route. Uh, so let's get started. Last time we did a lot of shunting. And uh, you can see that uh, we're, we've now generated some uh, shunting load jobs as a result of that. That is the Persistent Jobs mod at work. Um, so uh, yeah, as part of that it uh, will generate shunting load jobs for rail cars that it can use uh, at the location. But uh, other ones it will uh, do logistical haul hauls for instead. And uh, I believe that these uh, these blue and orange tank cars uh, only get to hold certain t type of uh, hazardous materials, none of which uh, depart the harbor. All right, uh, I was saying last time that uh, I wanted to take some haul jobs, some freight haul jobs, up towards uh, the western side of the map. I think we had some here headed for City Southwest, and uh, a few more headed to um, Machine Factory in town. Let's see, uh, we don't have the higher hazmat licenses yet, so we can't take those yet. Let's see, that's headed to Goods Factory. Oh, there was a, uh, there was a shunting job for City Southwest. And uh, another one here. Let's see, that is to steel mill. It's also not something we have a license for. Yeah, so um, I could start off first with these uh, these two here. I wonder. Let me let me make sure I'm being wary of the weight here. Yeah, and even just these two, uh, <laughs> we're looking at nearly a thousand tons. Um, Huh. I wanted to uh, take the steam locomotive again, and uh, I don't think that any DE6 locomotives spawned here. So... Yeah, so I am certainly limited in the uh, total tonnage that I can carry here. More so than I would be if I had access to DE6. But yeah, let's do uh, let's do some hazmat um, haul to uh, City Southwest, and I believe that there was also a uh, logistical haul over at the military yard that was uh, headed up to Machine Factory's military base. Let me take a look at that. Machine factory, yes. Um, oh no, this is military two. Uh, maybe this one it was? Yeah. Military one. Um, that could do. And that's headed in that direction and not... Not too, uh... Not too heavy, either. And I'm thinking today I would, uh like to take a route that I haven't normally taken before and head on around uh, the south south direction here up to city southwest and then uh, I guess we'll take this and carry on up to machine factory in town to finish it off and uh, yeah let's get started with some of that now 
Is that, uh, let's see. We're looking at four, four boxcars here. Let's see, those have a shunting load job associated with them. So what are we looking at? I think we might be looking at these ones at the rear here. Yeah, logistical hull. Heading on over to uh, Machine Factory. So I will have to unbury these here. And uh, I don't think that there's enough trackage. Yeah, there's not enough down at the end here to pull uh, the cars out with the locomotive. So I'm going to have to move uh, move these other ones out of the way. But that can be done. We'll hop aboard here and uh, get things fired up. We've already got some coal in there from last time, but probably need a few extra shovelfuls just to uh, help things along here. The, well, the boiler is heating up here. Uh, I'll use this op uh, opportunity to remind folks that I am wrapping up my fundraiser this weekend. And uh, as part of that, during uh, this live stream today, and uh, if I do another one tomorrow during that live stream as well, I'll be doing a one-to-one -one match of donations given during the streams. So, uh, we're starting off here today still at $30 total donations, and I'll check in again at the end and uh, match uh, any donation amount that has been uh, given over the course of the stream. And of course, uh, there is... I think there is a kind of not too much hope uh, that that raffle will be unlocked at this point, although I, I could be surprised. So, uh, you know, who knows? But, um, but yeah, uh, I haven't seen uh, anyone sign up for the raffle anyway, but uh, there's certainly also uh, some polls still going on there. Uh, and uh, as such, uh, I know, Lotter, you, uh, you made a donation a little while back uh, to uh, request that I purchase a military license. And uh, certainly that's why we are able to take military jobs today. And uh, thank you very much for that donation that you made. Uh, so if you would like to see, uh, see me prioritize a particular license type or uh, one of the in-game items like the golden shovel or the locomotive remote or the stopwatch, uh, there's a poll to choose among those. And there's also a poll for locomotive skins. Um, We've been running the lovely uh, Pride skins from Katie Cat, but I've got some other options over there, such as the Pennsylvania Railroad skins, there's a Burlington Northern skin, a Canadian National skin, um, let's see, there was a Southern Pacific skin, and then also the Golden Mikado skin uh, that you can choose for, and I believe there's no minimum donation on those, so any amount helps, and uh, any amount uh, can get uh, your voice uh, heard for what you'd like to see here on stream. And uh, of course, all those donations go straight to Advancement Project. There are a group working here in the US to advance the, uh, the rights of uh, people of color here in the States. And uh, certainly that is something that is front of mind with uh, the police brutality that has uh, come to light, uh, although certainly uh, did not just begin recently, but uh, just came came to attention recently. Um, 
and really kicked off the uh, Black Lives Movement again, or Black Lives Matter movement, uh, which hasn't seen quite as much uh, uh, backing since I think it was like 2016 last time uh, it really got underway, and I certainly hope that uh, we see more substantive change this time around. It would be really, really nice. But it uh, looks like we've got some pressure here, so we'll get underway to uh, move some of these cars uh, out of the way and get to those uh, box cars at the rear. Looks like that last boxcar is moving off of the switch there. So we can go ahead and uh, stop the train here. We'll roll things over into reverse and uh, make sure we throw that switch. would help to take the break off. And since we've already got some other train cars on that track already, we want to make sure we're not going too fast as we back down towards them. Uh, if this is your first time joining the stream, you'll probably be wondering uh, how I'm zooming in like this, even though I'm using VR. And uh, that is thanks to the VR camera zoom mod that, uh, that I made and you can find on Nexus Mods if you'd like to try for yourself. Or if you're on the uh, Derail Valley Discord, you can check the mods release channel to find a link straight to it. And if you're new to mods, uh, do be sure to check out the mods readme channel for uh, information on how to get started using mods. I think we're uh, probably getting pretty close here. Pretty close, but uh, not quite there yet. All right. Just got a little bit further to go. But we will wait for some more brake pressure.
All right, we need this uh, closest box car here to pass over this switch and just clear it on the other side. Looks like we are nearly at the point where we can uh, bring this to a halt. And let's just uh, check the other side here to make sure. Yeah, it looks like we are uh, plenty clear of that switch. So we'll go ahead and leave that uh, brake pipe open there. So we will um, give those cars, uh, uh, basically uh, let them release brake pressure and set the brakes as we move away here. And looks like we might be needing some more coal in the firebox, so let's just throw a little bit in there. That was unexpected. Yeah, uh, not sure what was uh, going on there. Totally could have sworn that I threw that switch. Try that again. I didn't take the brakes off. That would help. sure what that was all about last time.
Right. Alright, and uh, just to be sure, we'll take a look here and see that uh, this is Logistical Hall number 36. We got a coupled, uh, coupled cars and open brake pipes. We'll just uh, check each one to be sure. And uh, yep, we do have brake pressure all the way through the train. I do want to uh, check here before we get too far along. Looks like we're doing uh, we're doing okay in terms of water and coal. So we're mostly uh, running downhill since filling up at the coal mine last time, or not last time, but uh, that's been a couple couple episodes ago. <laughs> uh, I think it was two exactly two episodes ago. No. But uh, yeah, we will just jump out here and uh, skip on ahead. Make sure that this switch is uh, set like so. And I uh, also want to make sure, yeah, we're headed around that way to let us uh, back in to the other yards to uh, pick up those other jobs. We will get the clock ticking on this one. All right. Looks like it is about time to change direction here. All right, time to find these other trains.
gonna go ahead here and uh, run ahead of the train. Make sure some of these other switches are set. For instance, I think that one is uh, gonna need to change over here. And uh, let's see, it looks like we're probably backing down to uh, these two strings here. We've got um, yeah, Freight Hall 11 over on this side and Freight Hall 00 over here. Uh, which one is the heavier of the two? Looks like uh, it's going to be 11. Yep. So uh, let's grab double O first. Which means we will want to be heading down this track. Coming straight on that one. But uh, here we'll want to be heading to the left. We'll go ahead and just get this side prepared as well. All right. When I uh, turned back to look at the train, I had forgotten for a moment that we were uh, backing, backing up our train here, and so I was a little surprised to see the smoke uh, coming off the end of the train. I was like, what is going on there? But of course, we are in reverse. That is what's going on. I think yeah we'll uh, we'll hop back into the locomotive here oh, inside inside please what the heck yeah for some reason uh jumping around with the right controller seems to be a little problematic. We, uh, no, we've definitely not made it all the way down here. Just, uh, Typical uh, steam locomotive and tender issues, it seems to be. It uh, really doesn't seem to like to go in reverse for some reason. I think one thing that I would like to see is uh, a little bit more solid of a connection between the locomotive and tender in a future update. Alright, we're uh, coming back down here again.
Whoa. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's just double check uh, all of these connections here. We're looking at that double zero freight hall. Just, uh, this one looks weird for some reason. But no, that's just the way it is, I guess. Yeah. Huh. Super, super odd. The way some of those uh, chains look like they're uh, not connected. Yet, yeah, theoretically, they are. Hmm. That is all of the double zero freight hull. We'll hop back aboard here and uh, pull these out. Probably going to be needing some more coal in the firebox as we get started here. Looks like we'll have a pretty long train here today. Heading on over to City Southwest. Go ahead and uh, throw another Shovel full in here. So we will uh, really start uh, needing steam soon. So uh, that's probably fast enough for now. We just need to uh, pull out this string of cars. Then we'll be grabbing the another string from. Uh, on the track on the other side of the yard. Of course, this means we'll have lots of flammable materials at the back of the train today. We are plenty clear of that switch, and it is uh, time to turn this train around. Alright, um... 
um, let's give it a moment here to uh, build up a little bit more brake pressure. We'll take a moment to uh, fill, to uh, top off the boiler here with some water. It looks like we are good to go. That's uh, honestly probably as fast as we want to get going to start. We will uh, we'll keep the firebox topped up here because we will be getting underway shortly. But uh, yeah, let's, let's see how close we're getting just yet. Still got a little ways to go. Looks like that first tank car is just uh, just taking off to the right towards the uh, the yard track where we need to be picking up the rest of those uh, tank cars. And there it is, heading back to the left again. Let's take a look at our speed because I think we've uh, potentially lost some here. So uh, for anyone who's newly joining the stream, thank you for hanging out with me today. And uh, feel free to chat. Uh, I can see your messages here and I uh, check in on them every now and then. And uh, certainly if you haven't checked it out yet, do click the link down in the description to head on over to that fundraiser for advancement project and uh, support all the good work that they do for people of color here in the United States. Uh, I'm doing a one-to-one -one match during the live stream, so if you donate before the stream is over today, your donation will go twice as far. Let's check these cars for Freight Hall 11. Just make sure that all of the uh, brake pipes are open, all of the chains are tightened, and that all of the cars that are uh, in, in the train set here are the ones that we expect and are headed to the same place we are today. That place, of course, is City Southwest, which we'll be off to pretty uh, pretty soon here once we get this taken care of need to start using the uh, left controller to teleport I seem to be having trouble with the right controller at least for teleporting seems to do everything else just fine all right just a couple more to check here This is the end of the train, and we certainly have brake pressure all the way through. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty long train today. We're filling up uh, pretty much the entire yard track here in the harbor, which is where we are at the moment. Let's see if I can hop up on this post here. 
for a moment. Can I get it? Yes, there we go. Uh, let's see if we can get a nice screen capture of that long train. All right, uh, let's check in on our steam pressure. We certainly have enough uh, to get started. So let's do that. But uh, at the same time, we'll be needing more. So I will go ahead and uh, stoke up the firebox here. far out of the yard here, I will need to go initiate these jobs. There is uh, one of them, and the other. Alright, let's get going on this adventure. Looking like we're gonna need some more coal in this firebox here. To uh, sustain as much pressure as we need to uh, move this big long train here today. since I think we'll be encountering some hills uh, in not too long. I wonder if I can put my map up here. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. <laughs> But uh, as we get underway here, let's take a look at what track these uh, these cars here will be headed to. We've got some going to C3I, and uh, some more going to C2I. Let's see, uh, this is double O, which is uh, I think the one that is coupled closer to the locomotive. And uh, number 11 is there at the back. So it looks like we'll be headed to C3I first. Let's uh, take a look over here at Sea Yard in City Southwest, and 3i is the one straight down the middle. So that is good to know. And uh, let's hop up in the front here. Let's take a look, make sure we are headed down, down the right track. And uh, we're going to be headed around the south, the south route. Southern route, southern route, route route, I don't know. We are uh, underway here, headed off to City Southwest. Let's see if we can build up a little bit more speed before we reach this first incline. like we will need some more coal here soon. Let's go ahead and add in two shovelfuls for now. Yeah, and that is going to be no good. <laughs> that we are going to need 
more pressure. So let's stoke up that fire, get it nice and hot. complete stop here. <laughs> Shovel any more coal in here? It looks like I can. Uh, let's not be sliding backwards just yet. Looks like we didn't quite make it up this hill. Let's wait for some more pressure to build up. And then let's uh, let's try again. <laughs> sliding backwards a little bit. Let's try to uh, not do that. Alright, let us see if we can't get started here. Add just a little bit of sand maybe. Let's do, uh, let's do full, full on sand. And that means it's probably time to shovel some more coal into the firebox. Keep the fire nice and hot. And uh, 
is uh, not looking too good here. <laughs> I just trying to pull this train up the hill and uh, yeah not having super good luck with that so far Hey there, Foxy. Welcome to the stream. We're uh, <laughs> currently just struggling up this hill out of the harbor yard and uh, trying to head on our way to City Southwest. Let's see if, uh, if we maybe have enough... Uh, might be making it here if I can keep the temperature up in the firebox. Looks like we're, we've got some even ground ahead. Which should be a nice relief. Some train cars uh, coming up that hill, but it uh, looks like that's the last one there. Just uh, entering that switch at the rear.
All right, and we are getting some speed here. I think I'll go ahead and uh, close this for now. We'll see how things hold here. That is, uh, that is sounding good. We may actually uh, be generating more steam than we need here right now. We're getting up to a good, good clip here. In fact, we are approaching the speed limit for this area. Let's go ahead and uh, throttle down a bit. But uh, we do need, it looks like, a little bit of steam headed into the cylinders to keep us moving forward. Looks like it might be uh, be a bit of a balancing act here between uh, too little and uh, too much. We've got a 50 zone coming up ahead, but uh, it'll probably be a little while until the uh, tail end of our train comes out of this 40 zone. And uh, we're about to head into another zone of uh, 40 kilometers an hour. Certainly the, a, a very uh, serpentine route that we're taking here today. Let's, uh, let's throw a little bit more coal in here. Just to keep things stoked up. And uh, let's take a quick look at the map, see what we're headed into. Looks like we'll have some wiggly bits down here at the uh, southernmost region. Yeah, it uh, looks like we do need uh, some more some more heat here to be generating some more steam. Let's see, more, more 40 kilometer an hour zones. Yeah, let's go ahead and open that up. Get the, uh, get the fire really uh, heating up here. See if we can't get it up to like 600 on that uh, little gauge there. Which uh, we'll probably need some more coal for. But, uh, I want to try not to put too much in there. Do want to keep things nice and uh, nice and even here. All right, we'll go ahead and close it for now since uh, we have uh, brought the heat up quite a bit. Let's see if we can't uh, add some more water in there. Maybe bring the regulator down a little bit here. We are approaching 40 kilometers an hour, which is the speed limit for this area. But, uh, you know what? Uh, we're doing all right on steam for right now. Yeah, this is a wiggly route, that is for sure. Let's uh, add a little bit of braking here. So we are going a little bit fast. 20! Whew! What? 
Um, well. Yikes. <laughs> um. Yeah, that is going to be rough. back here. Yeah, we are still coming through those tight corners back there. We want to be wary of our speed. We need a little bit more uh, coal in here. Let's keep things nice and toasty in the firebox and boiler. this locomotive moving here. I will, uh, of course, remind folks who may have just joined the stream that uh, there is another struggle going on here in the U.S., and uh, that is the struggle that um, the people of color are going through here in uh, really being uh, disempowered in their, their own communities and really uh, seeing ongoing impression, uh, oppression, rather, um, that uh, really needs to change, in my opinion, and I think in the opinion of uh, many other folks here. But uh, real change takes work, and uh, doing that work can sometimes uh, take money. So uh, the folks over at Advancement Project are working on that uh, here in the U.S., and um, there's a link down in the description of this live stream slash video uh, that you can uh, head on over to if you uh, find it within your heart and within your wallet to uh, donate to uh, some of their good work. And during this live stream right now, I'll be doing a one-to-one -one match for all donations. So if you head on over there right now and uh, donate uh, wh whatever you can, be that uh, one dollar, three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, any amount is, uh, you know, goes to goes to a good cause and is more than they had before, and uh, helps them do their work. And uh, like I said, we're doing a one-to-one -one match here today during the live stream, so uh, your donation can go twice as far if you uh, donate right now. Alright, we are crawling along here.
just uh, trying to keep pressure up in the boiler and uh, keep our speed not not too high but not too low. We're also trying to uh, not waste resources. We're trying to keep the uh, boiler pressure under under that 18 um, what is it 18 uh, bar yeah trying to keep it under that 18 bar point looks like we do have some increasing speeds here too so hopefully uh, things will speed up here a bit but uh, certainly need to remember that the end of our train is still over on the other side there. Let's see if maybe we got a screenshot of kind of demonstrating just how long this train is here today. Uh, you know what? Uh, on second thought, that might be too much coal in the firebox. But um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So uh, this next limit zone here is 30 kilometers an hour. We'll want to uh, watch our speed and make sure we are not going above that. Especially as it sounds like uh, the train is speeding up here a little bit. You can hear some of that just in how the uh, the chuffs are sounding, and uh, how quickly they're coming as well. Looks like we uh, are seeing increasing speed zones here. a moment ago, we want to be wary of that tail. Make sure we're not uh, whiplashing it off the tracks. Yeah, we can see that uh, there's still plenty of train coming around that tight bend back a little ways that was limited to 30 kilometers an hour. But before long, we should be out of that zone. Looks like we've got a 40 kilometer an hour zone coming up here. This is certainly a tough route. And even more so to do in the uh, steam locomotive. <laughs> yeah, I uh, figured we'd uh, we'd have a good adventure here today, taking this route. Well, it looks like we need some more coal in the firebox. <laughs> Man, 
and especially with uh, all that hazardous cargo at the rear of the train, we need to be extra careful that we are uh, not going too fast here. But uh, it certainly seems that speed is uh, something we're struggling with today. What do we got up ahead? The 80 zone. That is tempting, but also sounds uh, like it could be disastrous, although it looks like these are some pretty gentle curves for at least a little ways here. And we'll probably need some more coal in that firebox. Let's get it uh, stoked up nice and hot. Should be able to uh, put on a little bit more speed here. Although the rear of the train may still be in a 40 kilometer an hour zone. I think we've got, yeah, we've got a tunnel coming up ahead. Shuffle full in here. That'll do. Let's see, 70, 70 coming up ahead. We're doing all right here. Doing just a little under 40. The the total weight of this train, Lotter, is uh, somewhere around a thousand tons. So it is uh, not a light one. <laughs> to add another shovel of coal right on in there. All right, we are actually uh, getting some speed here. We want to uh, make sure we're not going too fast. This uh, is a 50 kilometer an hour zone that we are entering here. Doing a nice 45, it looks like, right about now. Yeah, we're getting up there towards 50. We'll go ahead and cut the uh, regulator here. Let's see, do we have any, uh, no, no new speed zones coming up, but it looks like we might need to be uh, slowing down just a little bit here. Keep this under control. Um, I don't have the wagon count right now. Uh, I can uh, certainly answer that question once we get to City Southwest. And uh, let's let's take a look here at the map for a moment. Looks like um, we do have a Y coming up. So I will need to be vigilant. Yep, we've got uh, we've got some junction coming up. Let's take a hop here to the front. Make sure we're headed to the left. All is looking good. Looks like I can drop the uh, train brake as we've uh, slowed down a bit here. Is, uh, actually pointed our way already. It's hard to tell sometimes from a distance. It looks like we can pick up a little bit more speed here. We've got 
steam to spare. Although uh, I do believe we'll need to slow down again on the other side of this bridge. So probably uh, we'll only get up to about 50 kilometers an hour. And looks like it's time for some more coal. Uh, let's stick with uh, one, one scoop for right now. So I think I'm gonna cut the regulator. Yeah, we've got uh, plenty of train cars here. In fact, it looks like uh, we've got so many that the last two, when the train is all stretched out here, are uh, reaching the lowest level of detail <laughs> in the game. And uh, we're certainly uh, going through resources pretty quick here, which I am a little nervous about. Let's see, we've got a 40 zone coming up. We are going roughly 40, although we are losing speed. I think we're probably going uphill now. out for more uh, speed signs coming up. Yeah, let's uh, let's also shovel some more coal in here. Get this uh, fire heating back up again, so we can generate some more steam. at the map. Looks like we will uh, come around this bend up ahead here and we'll need to be headed to the right. Some more coal on the fire. And uh, some more water too, it looks like. Well, that is uh, more than enough there. See, uh, we've got uh, we've got some downhill coming up here, so I will uh, will not reach for that. Um, what do you call it? Vent. I will not reach for that vent lever just yet because uh, I think we'll be we'll be laying off the regulator here in just a moment. And it does sound like we're sustaining the speed without uh, any input. We've got a 50 zone coming up. So let's, uh, let's add in some braking here. Make sure we don't uh, get carried away with our speed. to the right. Oh goodness, 20. That, uh, that comes up real, real fast. And uh, go figure it's going to be an uphill climb after this too.
is uh, not the right button there. Yeah, we got an uphill climb, but we've also got train cars still in that 20 km an hour zone back there. So we do want to be wary of that. makes this quite challenging. Yeah, we have not yet cleared that switch. I also want to see the train making it up this hill. Come on. <laughs> Our firebox is plenty hot. We just cannot make steam fast enough. Are still moving, which is a good sign. Just very slowly. So let's, uh, let's see. Probably some more coal on the fire would be good. Keep it nice and hot here. slowing down here. building up pressure again. This will be just a momentary pause. But uh, wondering if we can use this opportunity to uh, take a look here real quick at how many cars we have. So we've got four of these military box cars. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen or sixteen, uh, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Yeah, we, we're looking at like twenty, twenty-two or twenty-three cars here. If I'm not mistaken. Alright, probably time for some more coal. Keep this fire nice and hot.
we are inching up this hill and of course every inch that we gain means uh, less of our train is on the hill and uh, the easier it is for us to uh, get going again here. Meanwhile, we'll just keep stoking the fire and uh, making sure we've got enough water in the boiler to uh, keep generating steam. Though I am a little nervous about our uh, reserves here. They are getting pretty low. At least uh, once we drop these tank cars off at City Southwest, we should have a pretty, uh, pretty light load headed up to the military base at Machine Factory. Maybe some time for more, for uh, some more coal here. Just uh, get that stoked up again. We are uh, still. Let's see if I can reduce the regulator a little bit here. Get us uh, generating more pressure again. Might even be able to uh, up this a little bit, which would help. As we uh, as we roll this back towards neutral, each stroke of the piston uses less steam. All right, time for some more water. Oh, uh, well, this is uh, concerning. I think we're out of water. Purple Fiends, welcome back. Hi. We are uh, struggling up the hill here at the southern forest, trying to pull roughly a thousand tons worth of train up this hill. Uh, with a single steam locomotive, which if I'm not mistaken, we've uh, just run out of water Yeah, that is bone dry in there Not Not a good sight to see We want to be uh, very careful with our Use of steam at this point Uh, Lotter, uh, <laughs> you know, I thought it would be okay, because, uh, we were coming downhill with it last time, and we had just refueled at coal mine, and done a, uh, taken light power up the hill there. So, uh, I thought we were basically, uh, topped off, but, um, seems like it may not have been quite enough. But uh, yeah, I can always stop over at a career manager, even though it will uh, cost more. But uh, at the moment, at least, we are building pressure, and I think, I think, and I certainly hope it, uh, oh, you know what? Well, I made a mistake. 
I didn't want to come this way. I, uh, I actually meant to go down along this side and come up this route. No wonder I was not expecting to see the forest. Yeah, well, uh, that is something. And, uh, this may prove to be uh, beneficial, because we do have coal service over here at the steel mill. Yep, it sounds like we are gaining some speed here. I can probably uh, cut back on the regulator. And uh, I think we're still gaining speed. Or at least uh, holding pretty constant here. But I think we are going to be headed downhill shortly. Yeah. Apathetic whistle. <laughs> but, uh, that means we're going to be uh, needing to watch our speed. Oh, and uh, perfect time to close that. Make sure that we keep, keep the fire going at a nice minimum. Although, uh, yeah, it looks like we're at the dregs here. I will shovel in just a little bit of coal to keep that alive. Wasting some steam here. <laughs> because, uh, I don't know. That's uh, certainly something I don't need to be doing right now. I think headed headed uh, for some mostly downhill travel here, which is good. But uh, kind of unfortunate that I took the wrong turn there. I would have preferred to have not done that. But uh, I think it may turn out in our favor with the current fuel situation. Plenty of train cars out there behind us. Yeah, and we've got uh, some more downhill coming up here, as the sign says. This is actually a pretty steep, it's a pretty steep drop. If you can see, and we are picking up some speed here. Let's try to uh, bring that under control. to do is uh, start actually reducing speed here. We'll drive light power over to uh, steel mill to pick up um, more fuel. Yeah, you can see <laughs> there's, there's probably still water in there somewhere, but uh, it is not registering on the uh, readout there.
so I don't think we want to stop up here just yet. I'd like us to get a little bit closer to this switch. I may have been a little early in my breaking. I can hear that we're picking up speed here again. we're getting here. I do see the sign. So uh, let's go ahead and start reeling this back in. like we are, well, almost stopped. That is uh, not what I wanted, but uh, does, uh, does the uh, job. All right, so we've got the train waiting there for us to return. And for now, we'll be headed on over to Steel Mill with just the locomotive. To refuel. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to uh, learn to get better at controlling the brakes, <laughs> but uh, some of that uh, does depend on uh, planning uh, when you want to stop and where. Which I have not always been the best at, but uh, I'm trying to get better. Looks like uh, once we get a little further along here, we can even cut power and uh, keep on going here. We'll be greeted with a little bit more of uh, downhill running before we uh, get to the steel mill. Which is good, since uh, we only have so much uh, pressure left in the boiler here. And, uh, yeah, no water. <laughs> so I have a feeling that uh, if this were IRL, we'd be uh, we'd be having some problems because uh, steam locomotives do not take kindly to uh, running without water. <laughs> to throw this switch on the left here. All right, and I do need to, uh, of course, conserve enough fuel that I can change direction. Or, and by fuel, I mean steam. see some good uh, some good Holland looks like has uh, spawned in here at steel mill so we'll have to uh, 
take a look at that in another episode. Do we even have some cars over there? Uh, yeah, it looks like we do. Yeah, running on fumes is the default setting for a steam locomotive. Although, uh, well, kind of, kind of. <laughs> the fumes are kind of a byproduct, right? Um, it's the uh, the evaporated water. Which I suppose could be uh, considered fumes. I think fumes uh, normally folks uh, pair in their mind with combustion, which is uh, what's going on in the firebox rather than the boiler itself. So much for the uh, gradual stop here, but I want to make sure we don't roll too far down this hill. Because we've only got so much pressure to get us back up it. And uh, as that gets underway, I'll take a look ahead here to uh, make sure these switches are aligned and headed into the service depot here which they are. Alright. We are still still running here. But uh, hopefully just have enough to uh, make it crest this uh, little hill here. And uh, move on into the yard. like double and triple checking these switches because uh, given the current state of affairs uh, <laughs> going down the wrong siding uh, would prove rather disastrous. I think this one was uh, 80 tons. I'm just taking a look here, see if I can get a slightly more accurate accounting of just how much weight we're hauling here. We got 535 for this one. And 446. So, we've got um, we got a 70, 80, 81. Yeah, it's like 9, 981. Plus another 80 is like, uh, like 1061, I think. Here we are. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Yeah, coal and water. <laughs> Let us fill it up. Looks like we might as well do sand while we're here too. 
Or no, no, no. That has to be in the locomotive itself. Oh, that's uh, that's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> All right, uh, well, there is uh, some service done. Just throw that there. Um, and let's go ahead and move this back a little more. This is really obnoxious, the way that uh, it interacts with the tender. It looks like after that first one, it settled down. I think the, uh, is the locomotive not in range yet? Huh. No, it sounds like it is. Okay. In range. We'll just top it off with some sand. And, uh, yeah, while we're here, we might as well just, uh, take care of it all. Right, so we've got our locomotive serviced up. We'll go ahead and throw some coal in here. Probably, uh, probably two scoops would be good. And uh, yeah, it looks like we uh, had left this open a little bit. So we are starting to fill the boiler back up with more water. Uh, all right. And then after filling the water, make sure to put, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, totally unheard of, a disaster in Derail Valley. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can pull two handles at once in VR. It's uh, pretty nice. Um, yeah, Purple Finch, uh, I believe the game is looking at uh, how much you're using the independent brake and uh, how, how much weight is behind the train as you use it to, uh, to get that uh, wheel damage number. So uh, you, you are right, as far as I'm aware. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> What did I what did I turn on? I guess I need to be careful about where I take the shovel out in the cab. All right, I think we've got enough at least to uh, get started here. Yeah, thanks y'all for uh, hanging with me during this brief intermission while we uh, go fill up the locomotive. having a peek over here at the yard. We've got some more uh, flat cars in storage. I'm wondering if we've got anything around there too. Just uh, more flat cars it looks like. All right, that's uh, probably enough on the regulator for now. 
Uh, hey, hello, yes, this is the dispatcher. We're trying to figure out who the heck left this train on the main line and where did they go. Yep. Luckily, there's uh, nobody else driving around here just yet. So, uh, <laughs> don't have to worry too much about that. But uh, maybe in the future, if we get uh, multiplayer or perhaps uh, AI trains, we'll be able to uh, see see that actually mattering. That's kind of silly, uh, you know. I took that southern route to, uh, in the hopes that we could uh, go some some new way. Well, we did uh, certainly go uh, a bit of a new way. But uh, here we are once again at the steel mill, which is uh, yeah, not exactly what I was hoping for today. All right, we are backing on up again. Heading on for that train we left on the main line. Gonna be linking back up with it and then taking off again. Real time traffic jams, yeah. That will uh, certainly be something. As we uh, as we get underway here again. I will uh, remind folks, or uh, tell folks who have joined for the first time here today, that uh, I am wrapping up a fundraiser in support of Advancement Project, and uh, doing a one-to-one -one match during the stream today. So if you hop on over via that link in the description, uh, and donate any amount before the conclusion of the stream today, I will match it dollar for dollar. Uh, and of course, you can find out more about Advancement Project and the work that they do for people of color here in the United States uh, by following that link as well. And there's some perks over there, so uh, if you are regularly tuning in and you'd like to see me take the stream in a particular direction, either by uh, buying a particular in-game item, such as the locomotive remote, or the golden shovel, or uh, a particular license. I think we've got more hazmat or uh, military licenses. Uh, you can choose from one of those. Or there's another poll if you'd like to see uh, a particular skin on uh, some of the locomotives. We've got uh, options for those. Uh, some nice Pennsylvania Railroad skins. Uh, also a Burlington Northern skin, a Canadian National skin, a Southern Pacific skin, or the Golden Mikado skin. We are approaching that train, so uh, we do want to be slowing down. We're getting some assistance with that by traveling uphill. We also want to make it all the way there. So it is a balance. And it looks like we need a little bit more on the side of slowing down. Actually, we need a lot of bit more on the side of slowing down. Actually, uh, that might do it. Have we made it all the way? No. Nope, that was just us rolling back down the hill. Because we did not have enough power behind the locomotive.
We are almost there. Getting really close now. And that'll do it. Let's throw on that brake and get hooked up here. What? Really? Is it just that much of a hill? I guess this hill is just so steep that uh, the independent brake alone is not enough to hold the locomotive uh, against against the rest of the train. Uh, will this do it? Come on. Uh, yeah, it looks like this will do. Let me grab this chain and uh, set it up here. Of course, this means that it will uh, take us a moment to rebuild this brake pressure. That gives us a chance to throw the switch up ahead. All right. We are getting ready to get underway here. The uh, downside to uh, VR is sometimes tracking isn't the best, and especially in the steam locomotive, makes it difficult to uh, use this wheel. Actually, can I just grab this? Oh, I can just grab it anywhere. That um, certainly helps quite a bit. All right, uh, we are building up brake pressure here. Looks like we are all the way built up. Let's relieve that uh, independent. Oh, you know what? I think I might have made a mistake here and closed this brake pipe. Yes, I did. All right. Um, now we're building up brake pressure. <laughs> and uh, let's give this firebox a little stoke just to uh, keep things lively here. Alright, we are uh, setting off now. Headed once again to City Southwest. Thanks for being patient with me as we do a little bit of uh, in-flight refueling, as <laughs> you might consider it, but uh, we are once again underway. Still got, uh, yeah, we've still got some train coming down that hill. But uh, as the tail end comes up, I will let off the brake here. Let me go ahead and pop up to the front, make sure that we are headed straight on through these uh, junctions here, and especially the, uh, the latter one here. headed straight on through, which is good. So we can go ahead and open it up here. 
get some speed built up. That's uh, that last car popping in as a low level of detail model. It looks like we're getting up to like 60, 60 kilometers an hour here. That's uh, probably fast enough to be going for the moment. I want to uh, take a step to the front here and just look ahead at uh, some of these switches. Make sure that we're set all the way through the uh, oil well here, oil well station. I think we are, but it doesn't hurt to be cautious. And we're set straight on through by the looks of it. All right. I'm going to head and uh, open that throttle up again then. We'll put a little bit more coal on the fire. Just to uh, try to regenerate some of the steam that we're using. Actually, let's do let's do two scoops. So we're getting pretty low there anyway. do it. But of course, uh, I know coming up soon enough we'll be uh, needing to slow down even more. So we'll go ahead and throw some braking force on now to uh, slow our roll a little bit. Make sure we are headed in the appropriate direction up ahead here. Can't see that junction just yet. We should be coming up on it pretty soon. I think it's going to be set for us already, but uh, it doesn't hurt to be uh, checking it. Yeah, it is set. Looks like we're coming uh, close to the speed we need to be going. So we will uh, lay off the brake. Yep, we are reaching that point, Finch. Here it is. And uh, seems to be a pretty perfect timing with uh, brake. Well, we could probably go just a touch faster, maybe. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's probably enough. And time to uh, fill up on some water while we are. Uh, Taking it slow through this bend. This is uh, this is actually where I had hoped to be coming from, but uh, took a wrong turn and we headed through Forest South instead. It might not have been uh, the worst worst mistake in the world to make because we got to stop off at steel mill and refuel. I'll just uh, say thanks again to y'all for uh, keeping it real with me in the chat here today. And uh, if you are a time traveler from the future, tuning in and watching the replay, thank you as well. If you like this video, do be sure uh, before you leave to go ahead and uh, hit that like button, that thumbs up button. And uh, if you like this kind of content and want to see more, and if you haven't done it already, be sure to subscribe.
Or if you don't like this content, but you like uh, fursuit videos or uh, acapella music videos, you can subscribe for those as well and uh, just ignore these live stream ones. <laughs> Although, if you don't like live streams uh, of games, I don't know how you made it to this point in the video. Unless, of course, you are just tuning into the live stream, in which case, welcome! taking it pretty slow through these last few bends here, heading on into City Southwest where we'll be delivering some, is it diesel? Uh, it is gasoline and diesel, yes. Let's take a hop here to the front and then take a look at where these switches are headed. They're headed on to the right, which is the direction we want to be going. Because we are going to pass through the uh, the station here. Or rather, bypass the station here. And then take a turn around and uh, reverse into the siding. We're going maybe a little fast for this corner. But uh, we seem to be doing all right so far. Now, uh, this is going to be interesting to uh, see how we'll know when the uh, end of our train has reached the switch. I think what we may have to do is uh, just take a step on back here. This is the switch that we uh, need to be stopping at. And uh, let's see, maybe, maybe round about here. We'll jump on that last car. We'll operate the brakes from the rear of the train. Time to come back up to the locomotive, way up yonder, and uh, let's let's just set the independent for a moment here, and uh, we'll go back and make sure the rest of the switches are aligned. Uh, for instance, this one, which we'll need to throw, and we will be headed right on into this center. Track 3i is the one we're headed to. We've got uh, we've got some cool uh, consists in here, so we will have to uh, see where things are headed. But uh, it looks like we are headed straight down for that center track. 3i is the number or the ID, the track ID, and uh, that should be the one we're headed to for job 11. So let's get it done. Actually, let's do a kick. How about that? That will save us some time while we shunt here. We'll go ahead and uh, close off these brake pipes. We might get a little bit of a uh, runaway here. Yeah. So let's go back to the uh, locomotive and put it in reverse and uh, just get moving here. So we can hopefully uh, catch up with those other cars before they run too far off. Looks 
looks like we are going to need some more steam here. Let's see if we can't get a little bit more speed before we pause. Uh, let's say that's enough. Let's add in some brake force here. All right, and uh, let's stoke up just a little more. We are running low on steam. Ah, oh, this uh, shovel. It's stuck on everything. All right, uh, let's take a look at what we've got here. Yeah, these cars are rolling on their merry way. And, uh, let's get the next next set uh, mostly prepared, but uh, I think I want to focus on these ones first. Make sure that they uh, they don't get uh, too far along here. Uh, I want to take a look at where we need to be stopping them. So it looks like this is the first switch. And then here on the other side, yeah, this is the switch that we'll need to be beyond before we stop these rail cars. Hey, Ryan, you've, uh, you've arrived. Uh, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you back again today. And it uh, looks like it's about time to be putting on some brakes. All right, that should do it. And uh, yeah, we are stopped well enough within the track. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Probably uh, don't have a time bonus, but uh, just in case. We'll go ahead and turn this one in. Yeah, that is uh, <laughs> not anywhere near the uh, target time, but it uh, still pays pretty well. And we will uh, we'll go ahead and get this next switch set up. I think we're heading off in this direction. Yeah, 2i is the one. We are nearly done with this uh, initial shunting here. Not sure if we'll take anything else from the yard, but we'll see if anything's headed up to uh, Machine Factory, which will be our last run of the day. We've got plenty of steam here. We're looking to just uh, get these cars moving. Uh, double checking these switches here because uh, it would not be good to uh, have these cars come rolling in and uh, striking the other tank cars here but uh, yeah looking looking at the chat here just catching up Ryan has arrived and uh, glad to be back happy fourth happy fourth to y'all as well and uh, yeah thanks for choosing to hang out with me here today on stream. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, 
And uh, are these going to make it all the way down? I certainly hope so. But uh, they seem to be going very slow for some reason. I hope I haven't made a mistake and uh, left one of these valves open. This doesn't look like I have. But yeah, no, for some reason they are stopping short. Yeah, that is, uh, that is unexpected. And uh, kind of a little frustrating too. We, uh, we got them going the same speed as we did the other ones, but uh, for some reason they've stopped short there. Looks like we uh, need to fill up some more water here. Let's not, uh, let's not be too hasty about this. <laughs> yeah, Finch, how dare they? How dare physics be inconsistent in this game? Looks like it's uh, time to slow down a little bit here. for this to uh, coast on up to those other tank cars, we can take a look at what all is uh, going on here. That's the uh, shunting unload job that was generated. We've got some stuff going to Goods Factory in town. We've got Oil Well North and uh, Food Factory. Yeah, so uh, nothing I'm really looking at taking about right now. Where are we at here? Apparently, uh, this locomotive has stopped as well. Somebody put glue on the tracks? What is going on? Quick, open the door. I'll push. You steer, I'll push. I think that that is, uh, you know what, they're going to, yeah, they're going to um, kind of move out of the way from that because uh, they've still got air in the pipes. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, push them on down the line again. with your little bird wings there, Finch. Nice. Thanks for that. Come on. A little further now. Just like one car's length. But no. No, it looks like it's going to stop short again. 
Oh. What is going on? I don't know. Like, maybe... Maybe uh, we didn't have full uh, pressure in those brakes. I'm uh, certainly confused. Because normally uh, these things would roll a lot, uh, a lot nicer. Oh, we need to uh, take that independent off. That would certainly help. sound that tells us that we have found the rest of the train. Let's just, uh, let's just get this done. Yeah, it looks like we are, we are on the track here. We will uh, go ahead and stop that part of the train, and we'll stop this one as well. And since we won't be taking any any of the train cars from this yard, let's go ahead and uh, just uh, stoke up a little bit here. This part, this uh, last last bit of train that we have left here, start uh, getting underway as we hop on off and uh, run over here to the office, where we will turn in these uh, these booklets. And by booklets, I mean booklet. Alright, um, not too bad, not too bad. Let's uh, catch back up with that train. We are heading now for Machine Factory. Hey there, Lotter. We had some power issues with the steamer recently. Maybe they changed something? Yeah, maybe they did. Not sure. But, uh,. It, uh, I, don't, I don't know, it didn't really necessarily seem to be power with the uh, locomotive, but uh, just inertia with the train cars really seemed to be uh, the limiting factor here. Alright, we are once again underway, heading on up to Machine Factory now. And uh, taking things at a pretty good clip so far, but uh, need to be wary of that switch up ahead, since it is currently set uh, for the uh, eastern route. but then we would never stop in time for that junction. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and take off all of the uh, regulator here. Start decelerating a little bit. We've got, uh, we've got a speed sign up there that says we'll be headed uphill soon. I suppose we were maybe not headed uphill just yet, but that junction will be rapidly approaching shortly thereafter. Now there's the 
uh, 70 sign that's really tall. And uh, the junction is coming up just beyond that. All right. Let's see here. All right, we've got it set to be heading to the west here. We'll take off the brakes, add in a little bit of power, since we uh, certainly have steam to spare. But uh, we, don't, we don't have too much headroom on the speed. Uh, yes, Lauter is, uh, is a fluffy armchair admiral. He does some uh, train driving of his own over on his channel. And uh, he's also got some, uh, I think it's uh, some battleships going on over there and uh, some transport fever. not the zoom feature, that is the walk feature. <laughs> Alright, we are coming around here. We'll be heading across the bridge and into Machine Factory shortly. Looks like we are headed uphill and losing momentum. So we'll want to uh, get some of that back here. Which uh, we have enough pressure to make short work of that, especially with uh, just the, uh, the four empty boxcars that we have behind us right now. You're dabbing in my, in my chat. Good thing I'm not AV or I'd have to turn out the lights. should bring us uh, through the passenger station. So we need a little bit more power here yet to uh, finish here. Alright. Yes, we are headed on through the passenger station here. Looks like the tracks are all set straight through. Now, somewhere uh, out in this direction, there is a switch. It should lead us into the military yard. It looks like we will need to uh, exit the other side of the passenger station first, and then we will find it uh, out that a ways. Oh, there was one on this side. Ah. Uh, and I totally uh, did not realize that. Well, oh well, we will. Ah, I'm having teleport issues again here. The 
this looks like the switch that I was thinking of. We will uh, slow our train down here. I think we have probably passed it by this point. Yep, we most certainly have. Alright, uh, time to check out a new station here today. That being the military yard here at Machine Factory. Looks like we might need a little bit more coal and heat just to keep the pressure up as we uh, maneuver around the yard here. <laughs> You're surprised that uh, YouTube added the dab emoji? They didn't see it coming. <laughs> yeah, I would have got in loco first, which wouldn't have been great. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Might not have been the worst thing in the world. We're looking for uh, E2S, it looks like. This uh, locomotive tender interaction is not, not a fan of that. Let's see. Yeah, we've got that switch set. We should see that boxcar heading down that way. And there it goes. So we've got uh, you know, roughly 20 kilometers of speed built up here. So let's uh, let's just hop on down to this end of the train and do a little bit of rail car surfing as we uh, come into the yard here should give us a better look at where we're headed. Can't quite make out the siding names just yet, but I'm having a guess that uh, it's probably going to be that first one on the left. Come on, I need them to pop into existence pretty quick here. Did that? I don't think I got that in time, or maybe I did. <laughs> All right, well, uh, that was a close one. Let's uh, hop back into the locomotive and uh, slow on down before we reach the, uh, the end of the track. Might have been a little too much. No, that uh, looks like a pretty good place to be. Okay, uh, no, actually we need to go a little bit further, just a little bit. Let's roll it on over to full power. And just uh, push these uh, cars back, even though they still kind of have the brakes on. And that should do it. Yeah, we are clear of that switch. And so it is now time to turn in this job and see how abysmally slow we've done it today. <laughs> Uh, that's real slow. <laughs> that is the answer. All right, well, um, let's take a look here at all the receipts we have. Let's see, this was for service. This one is probably also for service. Yeah, we've got this one here as well. No uh, environmental damage or any of that going on. Uh, we do. Oh, we do have some damage to uh, one of these cars here. Not sure uh, which one that was or uh, how that happened. 
And uh, yeah, no damage on this one as well. It's good to see. So yeah, we've uh, we made some money today. It looks like got about uh, hundred thousand bucks off of those two, and a little bit more off of this one as well. And we spent uh, yeah, maybe about uh, yeah about ten thousand. So yeah, pocketing about ninety thousand dollars here in the game today. Yeah, not too much on that one. So uh, yeah, this has been pretty fun. Uh, yeah, no, can't take that one yet. It's a hazmat three, military two. But uh, certainly, if uh, if you would like to see me be able to take jobs like that, you can hop on over to that donation link in the description. I'm uh, just going to be signing off here in uh, in a moment. Uh, yeah, Lotter, I think uh, the two hours were uh, for taking that southerly route was not the wisest decision. Although it certainly was a change of pace, and uh, we got to check out a new part of the map. But, um... Yeah. Um... Now they just need to... need a boop one. Yeah, um... Yeah, bye, bye Ryan. Yeah, so I'm signing off for today. Thanks for joining me. Um, do be sure to uh, take a look at that fundraiser if you can spare a few dollars. Um, I will be uh, trying to do one more stream tomorrow. We'll see how it goes because I am meeting up with some friends uh, to go on a hike. Socially distant hike. Um, but we'll see if I can sneak on for some game time. And uh, we'll have one more day of uh, one to one matching on the donations. So, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in today, and I will see you next time.